Branch circuit is a really important definition in the NEC. You know, Article 210 has some of the biggest requirements in the code. GFCI protection, AFCI protection, receptacle placement, circuit sizing, conductor sizing. There's a lot of information in Article 210, which is branch circuit. So we better know what a branch circuit is and know it well. Let's look at the definition. A branch circuit is the circuit conductors between the final overcurrent device of the circuit and the outlets. Okay, so it starts at the final overcurrent device. That's easy enough, right? Starts at the breaker or fuse. Let's look at these disconnecting switches right here. If these switches contain overcurrent protection, if there are fuses or a breaker in there, then that would be the final circuit breaker or fuse of the circuit, right? And our branch circuit would start there and end at the outlet. Well, what's the outlet? We know what a receptacle outlet is, where you plug things in, but an outlet is actually defined in Article 100 as a point on the premises wiring system where current is taken to supply utilization equipment. Okay, so that would include lighting outlets, receptacle outlets, that would include hardwired equipment. Pretty much everything ends at an outlet. That's the end of the circuit. So in that installation, we've got our liquid type flexible metal conduit, where the wires emerge from it and connect to the air conditioner, that's the outlet. All right, so it's not just receptacle outlets and lighting outlets. Hardwired equipment is also an outlet. So if this had a fuse or breaker, that's the start of the branch circuit, and then where it connects is the end of the branch circuit. Well, what if this was just a pull-out disconnect with no overcurrent protection? Well, if that's the case, then the circuit breaker or fuse that supplies the disconnect would be the beginning of the branch circuit, wouldn't it? So one more time, if the panel right, has a breaker and it feeds a pull-out disconnect with no fuses, then the branch circuit starts back there at the breaker, continues through the switch and to the outlet point. If we had overcurrent protection at the disconnecting means, then the branch circuit starts at the disconnect, ends at the outlet. What would the wires between the circuit breaker and the fuse disconnect be called? Well, those would be a feeder circuit, and we're going to cover those in a different video. So we know what a branch circuit is. Branch circuits are further subdivided into a few different types. The first type is what we call an appliance branch circuit. And to be perfectly honest, I'm not certain that we need this definition. Uh, I can't think of anywhere that we really use this term in the code. We have small appliance branch circuits in 210.52, but we have enough specific rules for them that I don't know that we need a definition. So don't spend too much time trying to focus on this one. It's a branch circuit that supplies outlets for appliances, but does not serve any lighting outlets. All right, so this circuit feeds the disposal and potentially the dishwasher as well. So two appliances, that would be an appliance branch circuit, wouldn't it? General purpose branch circuit. That's a branch circuit that serves at least two receptacles or outlets for lighting and appliances. All right, so this is actually a really simple one. How many receptacles are we looking at in a duplex? Well, a duplex receptacle is two receptacles. So the second I install a duplex receptacle, <laughs> according to the definition, it's a general purpose branch circuit. So I could be looking at one or two general purpose branch circuits in this picture. Now, if I actually had cut the tabs on this and I had four different circuits serving those four receptacles, then those would not be a general purpose branch circuit unless there was something else on the circuit as well. Where this can get confusing is when we think about that definition and then read branch circuit comma individual. So an individual branch circuit, that's a branch circuit that supplies only one utilization equipment. Now, I think a great example is here in the laundry room. Certainly the, 230 volt, the, the 250 volt, 30 amp rated receptacle, that is supplied by an individual branch circuit. That serves the dryer and nothing else. No question, that's an individual branch circuit. What about this duplex here for the washer? If that is the only thing on that circuit, then that too is an individual branch circuit. The fact that it's a duplex doesn't matter 
because you see, it still serves only one utilization equipment. And there have been proposals to clarify that an individual branch circuit can only have a single receptacle. And those proposals have all been rejected. Code Making Panel 2's position on this is that a duplex receptacle is still a single individual branch circuit, if that's all that's on it, and if it's only supplying one piece of equipment. Uh, some people will call this a dedicated branch circuit. And look, if you want to call it a dedicated branch circuit, I'm not going to call the code police on you, but it, it's really not the best term because dedicated, like, like, Jedis are dedicated, right? <laughs> right? Or you know, people are, are dedicated to a certain cause. But a branch circuit is not dedicated to anything. You, you can have an individual branch circuit that supplies only one piece of equipment. Uh, there are some areas in the code. I think 760.121, really close to that, where it'll say something like, you must have a, a branch circuit that is dedicated to only fire alarm stuff. So they didn't want necessarily an individual branch circuit for the fire alarm control panel because they're saying it can, it can control other fire alarm stuff as well, as long as it's dedicated to fire alarm stuff. So sometimes we use the term dedicated branch circuit incorrectly when really we ought to be using individual branch circuit. We also have multi-wire branch circuits. Now that's a branch circuit with two or more ungrounded conductors that have voltage between them and a neutral conductor that has equal voltage between it and the ungrounded conductors. All right, if I'm sharing a neutral, then we have a multi-wire branch circuit. Of course, you know, assuming we're not talking about a feeder, right? If we're talking about a, uh, a branch circuit and we're sharing a neutral, that's a multi-wire branch circuit. And absolutely, they are still allowed. Uh, some people think you're not allowed to share neutrals. That is not the case at all. So if I'm sharing black, red, and blue with a white wire, Let's take a look. Two or more ungrounded conductors with voltage between them. Perfect. So I have a voltage between A and B, and a voltage between B and C, and a voltage between C and A, and I have a neutral with equal voltage between all of those. That would be a multi-wire branch circuit. Uh, if I had a high leg delta, I would have a multi-wire branch circuit if I'm sharing phase A and C with the neutral. Uh, but B has a different voltage between it and the neutral. So it wouldn't actually comply with that last statement where we talk about equal voltage between it and the ungrounded conductors. So can you share a neutral on a high leg delta system? Sure, with two of the three phases, not with all three. Here's an example uh, in the real world where we've got some AC cable. We've got the black and red. If we put our voltage meter on there, we would get a voltage, probably 208. We also have a neutral, and it has an equal voltage from neutral to red and an equal voltage from neutral to black. So that would be a multi-wire branch circuit. And again, here is what I was talking about with the high leg system. I have 120 from the black to the neutral, 120 from the blue to the neutral. I have 208 from the brown to the neutral or the orange, excuse me, <laughs> from the orange to the neutral, I'm going to have a, uh, 208. So if I shared them between all three, that would not be a multi-wire branch circuit. So I'm just going to use a three-wire circuit, black, blue, and white, coming off of my high leg delta, and that would still meet the criteria of a multi-wire branch circuit.